Hey everybody, thanks again for tuning back in. Hope you've been enjoying the video so far. I've been trying to put up a wide variety of uh, just basically stuff that I'm interested in, be it music. Uh, I've got some vinyls coming up, uh, some games, some gameplays are going to be returning, as well as some anime movies will be going back up. But in the meantime, uh, we have another package arrival. Uh, this one, let me just uh, scratch off here. Holy. Put enough info on this one. Uh, this one is arriving all the way from Germany. So how about that Dutch Dutch Post? So nicely packaged. Let's get the old uh, buck tool out. Don't know which thing has arrived, so as always, we're going to take a look at it together because that's how I want to do things. I want to share it with you on the channel. It's like glued. Okay, nicely bubble wrapped. What is this? Nicely packaged. There's some more address info. So let's take that off. I don't know why there's so much. And it's more tape. So let's take that off. I like how they package it though. I try to buy them or at least order them um, as new condition as possible. People list it between like good, uh, very good, new, um, and even very good. Sometimes you gotta be a little bit more careful about um, people's opinion of, I wanna see this, where's the front? Okay, so that's the front. Uh, people's opinions of very good can obviously vary. So I've been paying a little bit more on the higher end just to make sure I get something that's a little bit nicer. Um, sometimes if you chintz out, you get, you know, what you pay for. Okay. Good thing about Japanese is I can't read the spine. So obviously that means it's another... PC engine game. This is number four. So we are moving quite nicely. Considering I don't have a system to play it on yet. Uh, as I said before, I'm on the hunt for uh, the Analog Duo. The pre-orders are going to be coming up at some point this year. So if anyone wants to help me out, I would appreciate it. Especially if I can't get one. Is this brand new? No. Shouldn't be. Okay, so that's where the spine is. So you guys want to see it this way. Another Hudson Soft game. Let's, uh, let's take a look at it. Oh, shit. I forgot I ordered this one. Gunhead, baby. Fantastic shooter. Uh, this one I've been playing um, through my modded Xbox. 
Hudson Soft Baby. And this has quickly become one of my favorite, one of my favorite shooters on the uh, PC, well, for the PC Engine. Um, it's a, uh, get it open though really fun game uh not only with the graphics and the music uh the weaponry is, is awesome just tons of weapon upgrades in this one there we go get a nice shot there and it's got the protector in there okay so Again, boop. Oh, of course that falls out. So, let's take a look at the manual here. Pretty nice. Obviously, again, uh, just love that artwork. What I like about this one is it's even got the. Uh, that's an actual sticker that's on the cover too. But I kind of like it. It's like a piece of time stamp on it. I wonder if it can even come off. Probably not. What I like about the artwork though is it's got that, you know, real life. Well, not real life, but, you know, drawn as opposed. And then it's got like the uh, schematics on that side of it. There we go. Obviously, it's a surprise to find these like in black and white. Seems a little strange to me. What year did this come out? Um, of course, it doesn't say. So we'll worry about that later. Next, we'll take a look at the uh, Hue card. And again, very nice condition. I'd say that's very, very nice to excellent. Pristine, I don't see any scratches on the front, nothing on the artwork. Pins look all clean. The back is, the back is nice and clean too. So we're really happy with that. Um, yeah, you know what? This game is going to speak for itself, so I'm not going to bother trying to, uh, explain a lot about it because I don't know much about the back, uh, the, the back history on it. I know I've just, my experiences from what I've played are limited, especially on, uh, since I've only been playing through emulator, but, um, let's, uh, let's turn that on and take a look at Gunhead. Alright guys, here we are, Gunhead. Like I said, better off letting the game do the talking for me. Uh, we're gonna go in three, two, one, go. This game gets right into it right away. One thing you'll notice is the amount of power-ups that they just they just throw at you. Got a laser here. So side body. Multi-body. Shields. So I mean like just another laser again. So let's stick with lasers and we'll get that pumped up. Like Upgrade once, pass on those. Just nice big 8 bit graphics. So, only missile, you got that. Multi body. There's our upgrade again to the laser.
I think this might be maxed out, I can't remember exactly. And then, let's try something else. What's that one? Alright, wind blasters. Two multi bodies. This little ring blaster, sort of like a shield as well for you. It's not too bad. It's not very strong though. Another three man. Nice relaxing game. Four ships, eight bombs. And it just continues right on with the action. Right? Nice little pause. It's enjoyable at this. What I like about this shooter is it's just it's exactly that. It's just enjoyable. Yeah, there's a lot of crap on the screen sometimes, but it's not stressful or stressing you out. Like it would um, some of the more heavy and, and intense shooters. To me, this is just a fun one where you can just sit back and, and sort of just really not worry about worry about too much, right? You just you can, you're honestly just putting those two. Die. It's just not stressful. And you're never worried about weapons. You're more, I find you're more worried about trying to keep the weapon that you really want to, that you really want. I think at a point too, the shield weapon also sort of curves in the direction that you're going. Alright, that's it. And I'm still doing it. You're always getting three men. Look at the graphics of your ship, they're just beautiful. Cool. So a little grenade, grenade, you're dead. Yeah, even the bosses aren't. At least so far. I, I don't know how far I've gotten into the game, I can't remember. I don't know how stressful it gets, but... Okay. Oh, what? This game makes you feel good about shooter, or playing a shooter. Making you feel like garbage. Some boost here. 
quite bad in that. are strong, I just don't like how like, it's like you gotta shoot it and wait for it to disappear before you can get back to it again. Every time you get hit to your weapon, you know, it goes down. Sometimes you just need to relax to play the game instead of being all stressed and jittery and jumpy. The bonus I got 12. Alright. Start these things up. Brain blasters. Brain blasters. What's that one?
Another thing too is there's not a lot of clutter on the screen to really sort of distract you from missing the uh, the enemy's weapons, which is nice. That's the max for your laser, if I'm correct. Pass this guy now, then that's it. That's it, we got the mad skills. Again, there's just something very simple. Simple yet pleasing about the graphics in this game. Laser was sort of reminiscent of um, is it the laser weapon in Soldier Blade or Tatsujin. I think they both have a similar style of laser. Disney. 
there's like, I like how there's like the two levels of bosses per area. It's, oh, we're half now. This one I always die. All the time. garbage on the screen in this one. guys we're gonna put a pause on that one there so that's gunhead um like i said it's a really fun shooter if you haven't tried it i'd recommend uh doing it like i said for the most part it's relaxing compared to other shooters and um that's just partially why i enjoy it definitely a must have if you have a pc engine so leave me a comment below tell me what you thought about the game I hope you've been enjoying the pickup so far for the PC Engine. I'm really digging, doing some research online. And uh, it's just fun to see people's top 10 lists, top 20, what they recommend and don't recommend. And um, if you guys can recommend anything else for PC Engine that you think I might like, uh, that obviously doesn't involve, you know, understanding Japanese to play it proficiently. Uh, I'd love to hear what you guys would recommend. And uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and we'll see you again with another video real soon.